Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we have a NVMe to USB adapter. This will accept a single notch drive, M.2 drive. And we're going to do a test on this. And we're going to be testing it on USB 3.2, 3.1, and 3.0 ports. Okay, now we have a multitude of drives because I want to make sure, you know, that I cover all the bases. And it's like, oh, we gotta get a high-end drive, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. So we have the Sabrent NVMe drive, four point, PCI Express 4.0. Western Digital SN 770 one terabyte drive. This is also a one terabyte drive. And this is a, whoops, this is a 200, this is inland, 256 gig, um, 1900 megs a second, read and 1100 megabits uh, megabytes a second write all right so this is the slowest drive of the bunch 256 megabytes this is the western digital sn 771 terabyte western digital black uh um 3.0 by the way and this is 4.0 all right so we have a multitude of this is a high performance this does 7000 megabytes a second which is ridiculous. This does 5150 and this does 1900 or read. So the, the reason why I did this is to verify if it's really necessary to buy high performance if you're using this drive, this USB adapter. So I did some tests and I'm very impressed with the performance. There is not a major difference between 3.0, I mean, I'm sorry, 3.1 to 3.2. Not much of a difference whatsoever. So it's negligible. Believe it or not, nothing went over a thousand megabytes a second. Nothing. So it does not pay to buy high-end devices such as this to use on this. So you can get away with something that's 1,900, 2,000, 2,500 megabits, megabytes a second to use on this. So there's no reason to spend the extra money at all. Just buy a basic, especially if you're just trying to transfer files and whatnot. This is an alternative, low-cost alternative solution um, than a, buying a USB thumb drive. Because now you're using a, a, something that's designed to do multiple reads and writes versus a thumb drive, which is more of a temporary solution, not a you know, high-end device. Um, so this is what I would do. So... Uh, the Inland Professional Drive, Solid State Drive, works fantastic. I wouldn't go anything better than this because nothing went over a thousand megabytes a second. So it doesn't really pay. So that said, um, you're going to see, um, you know, you're going to see some of the videos, some of the, which is unique that the Inland has, that no other drive has. There's an activity light on it. Uh, none of the other ones have an activity light on the drive itself. Uh, there is an activity light on the USB adapter, which is blue. The activity light on the inlet is green. And none of the other drives actually have an activity light, which is unique. So if you wanted to see inside the case, you want to see if it's writing or reading for that matter, the inlet actually has that capability, um, which I thought was pretty cool. So that said, USB 3.0, all these hovered just under 400 megabytes a second. It doesn't pay. So everything ranged around the, like plus or minus 100 megs a second. Hardly worth, you know, going the most expensive way. So I recommend buying a low cost drive. Don't buy high end drives at all. Stick with something like this. This is a TCL um, drive. So if you decided to go that route, um, the 3D NAND, which is perfectly fine and it works great. So if you're looking for something, you know, that you want, you know, to use this for, this is perfect. The only drawback to it is that it's probably more likely a temporary solution because there's no case around it. It's raw. You could put a, a I guess, a heat sink on it if you want because they did get a little warm. Um, but that's about it. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I will have a link in the description below to purchase the Inland Drive, all shapes and sizes. <laughs> different sizes, meaning like megabytes per second. I mean, megs, you know, 256, 512, one terabyte, two terabyte, 
and this device itself. All right, this is a great low-cost solution for USB uh, storage. Take care, and we'll see you next time.